Hey Aries and welcome to your reading for the week. I hope all of you are doing fantastic. Thank you for stopping in. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this general tarot card message for you. Asking Spirit here for a general message for your upcoming weekly energies. It is the first week of November. So let's see what pops up. Okay, we just had a new moon in Scorpio on, uh, why did, uh, I almost said Valentine's Day. New moon in Scorpio on Halloween. What is up with that? Why did I almost say Valentine's Day? All right, let's see what we have here for the sign of Aries. Spirit, please show us a message. Wow, it doesn't matter what deck I use. You get a four of coin. Like you are really um, thinking about possibly, you know, waste. Like you don't want to waste your time, your money, your energy. You're just like, I'm not wasting a second. I'm not wasting a dime. Um, the problem is... I think you're in the right here, Seven of Swords. There's someone or some information. It's like kind of like a get rich quick kind of thing because we have acceleration and we have Nine of Coin, independent abundance. But you're like, I am not going to risk. And it could also be with your heart or your emotions. I'm not going to risk my legacy or what I've built by um, being wasteful or yeah it's like you don't want to waste your time basically you don't want to waste your time time is very important money is very important things are like being efficient you're being very efficient in the past, it looks like maybe possibly you would have outdone yourself, Knight of Rods. Um, there's a Queen of the Water here coming in. It could be a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, it could be you showing compassion. What's coming up on the Aries mind this week? You've made up your mind. You're either being notified, three of the wands. So you're being notified or you've made up your mind. You could be turning turning your back on some kind of scenario. Um, what's your energy Aries this week? Ooh, Scorpio. You, enough is enough. Nine of rods. That's like I'm willing to go the extra mile or you did go the extra mile. And now you're like, nope, the other ship, the ship has sailed and I'm waiting for this new ship. Now here you are, Eight of Cups. Your emotions are very strong about situ a situation you want to leave behind. Okay. Nine of Rods. It's like, I've done everything I can do. I've worked extra, you know, I've done, I've worked, gone the extra mile. What's around Aries here? You're kidding me. Well, something changes. The death. So we have more Scorpio. You're being affected by the Scorpio full moon. Did something happen on Halloween where you're like, I've got to make changes. You want high priestess. You're like, I just want to listen to my intuition. There is the star card here. Oh, <gasps> and justice. So we have the star. Hope and healing and balance. So we have Libra, Aquarius, air energy, um, letting go and healing. The star card is a major arcana. So it... The energy is more intensified than, 
you know, um, any of the rest of the minor arcanas. Like, this is a minor arcana. It's a subtle energy. It's kind of like, you know, I'd rather just go off and do my own thing. That's not something I really want to pursue. But major arcanas in the environment, the death, Scorpio life cycles, the door closes. You want the high priestess. You want to be knowing the secrets without having to disclose and then we have here the star card, hope, healing, recovery, uh, full recovery. Letting go and healing, hope is restored and balance comes in with justice. So correction is made it here, made correction of the situation. There's a new pentacle coming. Okay, so knight of cups. So that could be a new job that's offered to you. Um, a new person comes into your life. New information with the Ace of Swords. The Lovers. It could be a new love relationship. It comes in with a Page of Cups. It's very lighthearted. This could be a person returning to your life. Okay. So, Justice and Star and Death. With the um, challenge being this Seven of Swords energy. Minor Arcana for secrets, trickery, things that are hidden. Uh, also, um, things that are not meant to be disclosed, like non-disclosure agreements or something. Something here is like not meant to be disclosed, and you're waiting for it. You're very excited. Now, this could be an offer coming for you, a job uh, where you have to sign an NDA or something like that. Um So what is the death card here for Aries? What is the death around Aries? What is the change? A queen of the earth and a queen of the wands. Okay. There's two queens. Uh, and we have an announcement. We have a victory, an announcement. And we have a wish coming true with this queen of water. So there's three queens and there's also a tower. Oh, see, what you want is the secret. Or you want to listen to your intuition. Water sign feminine. Wish is coming true. You're walking away from something. Something is announced. What is the high priestess here? What is that you're wanting with the high priestess? Something you didn't give up on, didn't didn't quit. It could be a health related issue. Um, it's like somebody doesn't quit, doesn't give up. What is on your mind here, Aries? Three of Wands. What is this? An Empress, the Goddess of Abundance. There could be a mom or a matriarch here. What is this? Okay, Page of Wands. What is your energy as the Eight of Water? What is your energy as Eight of Water? Minor Arcana, Page of Coin, Two of Coin. Somebody gives you a choice and an option. Okay, what is this Justice and Star all about here? An Earth Sign Man, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo? The world, a big accomplishment, night of fire, something in the past, rushing in, rushing out. Something is gone full circle. Why is this a, a big announcement? Six of Wands. The freedom. Somebody setting themselves free, living in the moment, taking a risk. New chapters, new beginnings. Why are you leaving a situation here, Aries? Four of Cups. You don't like what's being offered or there's a rejection. You don't like it, so you're offered something else. So what is this outcome about? You get justice and the star. What is this all about? Ten of air? Okay. The devil. The discovery of something in a situation where the person is very malicious or very... Um, 
doing something wrong. So <laughs> there could be a finding out about some corruption or something criminal, criminality. Um, and you are getting justice out of this situation. You're given some kind of choice, like an either or. Like you could do this, you could do that. Look at this, the star and the hermit. Something's going to be discovered and shown to you. The death. There is something that could close out a cycle, change your life. And you, it looks like you're going to take it. Why are you not liking a certain scenario here with the devil? A king of wands, an Aries Leo Sag, or someone makes you angry. And we have an eight of cups. Like you want to walk away from the situation. Okay. Well, let's see what we get here for Aries. I'm wearing my Moldavite again. I put them away because I have all these Moldavites and I couldn't sleep at night. It was keeping me awake. I had like eight of them by the bed. So show us here for Aries. What do we have coming up this week for Aries? One door closes, many doors open. Adjacent possibilities. Taking immediate action. Okay. The angel of love. So we have here something closes, one door closes, and many doors open. The love and the rest. Okay. So we had action, swift action, needing to take swift action. Um, show us what's happening here. The doorway to spirit. Uh, walking away, seventh chakra energy, having your crown chakra activated. You're following your intuition. Um, we have the fourth chakra activation. Your heart chakra is activated. And then we also have the sun, happiness, joy, success, really super positive energy. What's walking away? Feeling prevented, all tied up. So you have some really positive energies here coming in for you. The star card, the justice, um, you're letting go of something that no longer serves. So I don't know if I need to pull anything else. Maybe I will. Show us here one or two for Aries for the week. A ten of pentacles. And it, wow, okay, and your deepest wish. And then right here, I got the Ten of Cups, but I got the deepest wish coming true with the Wishing Well, and I got a Ten of Pentacles, a long-term connection, family, friends, stability, a very firm foundation. You could call it a windfall. Oh, I got the Four Leaf Clover and the wind, and the deep the Ten of Pentacles. So there's a death in the environment. So that could be anything closing out something around you. Hmm. There's a solution here. There's a thief. Time is an issue. Sacrifice is an issue. Light at the end of the tunnel and a commitment. And this four leaf clover keeps wanting to flip. So I do have the uh, ring of everlasting commitment. And there could be, you know, something very lucky coming your way. However, there is a lie in the crossing. So the challenge is somebody lied or was not true, <laughs> which is also a lie. So I always say that. I said, is that true or is that not true? And then the person goes, it's not true. I say, so it's a lie. Well, they didn't really lie. Well, what they said wasn't true, right? Yeah. Well, then that would be a lie. <laughs> like, well, they just didn't really understand. It's like, well, it's fine if they don't understand. Because if they don't understand, just say you don't understand. I'm sorry, I don't really understand. But when somebody says something 
meaning what's the death about show us the death what is this death six of air three of coin moving on from a connection to a team or a group page of swords curious asking questions wanting to know things the queen of air comes in a decision is made okay so what is this decision being made for aries new fire surprises what's justice oh we got the empress a, a mom a mother a matriarch okay so what is the justice here the chariot the five of swords the five of cups determined to go forward this is like you're going forward even though someone says you can't or something like that you're just going to go for it anyway five of cups five of swords that's like somebody who says five of cups is like guilt sadness or loss and then five of swords is like well it's your fault it's like a resentment or it's a wanting to conquer still not clear on what's this what is this change what is the queen of water coming in for aries what is this okay we got a nine of cups so we have wish fulfillment your wish coming true queen of air a decision that's made a smart intellectual person someone who sees the facts they're making a fair decision there's a fire sign king or maybe there's leadership here for you um the king is ambitious um changes will happen four of swords you've had no information about a problem five of wands a very competitive or hostile situation there is going to be a very positive outcome here okay so that's my reading for aries for the week i hope you all enjoy this reading and i will see you in the next video bye aries